Hello everyone and welcome to Rise of Flight United. This is my first attempt at playing it, after setting up controls of course, I've already done that part. Uh, but it is a freeware game nominally, though there are payware DLC packages that have additional planes and campaigns and I've already got some of those even though I haven't played the game yet. Uh, because I wanted certain planes to, uh, to play around with, I'm sort of a plane collector, and they were on sale. Uh, if you look at the DLC packages when they're not on sale, it looks pretty pricey, but then when they're on sale, all of it combined is like 45 bucks, which is the price of a game anyway. So anyway, uh, it seems like the best World War I simulator available. We'll see about that. And I'm going to go ahead with a campaign, just straight up with a campaign. And I'll forego the training campaign, though that might be a bad idea. We'll go straight into this one with the big bomber, the big Soviet, uh, Russian bomber at this point, I believe. Okay, so we've got campaign planes here, Albatross D3 and Newport and the Sikorsky S22 and ferry flight. I mean, this, it's a no frills sort of situation, 1916. Delivered a plane to the frontline airfield at Bolshovsky, and I'll be in the Ilya Muromets. No bomb load, so it's just a ferry flight. I guess that's a good way to start it out. So, all right. Okay, so this is our flight map, and well, it's in Cyrillic. <laughs> um, well, I mean, it should be pretty simple, right? We've got waypoints. Now uh, we're going. To, I mean, we can see the uh, Latin name there, Bolshevsky, and and here we are in Snovidov. All right, press P to continue. All right. Well, uh, let's see. That's the exterior view. Um. I thought I heard the engines running, but... Oh, that's somebody else. Those are very nice. Okay, I need to figure out how to start the plane. <laughs> That'd be helpful. Okay, input. Controls. Engine controls. It seems like E. Not a big surprise. Alright, let's see him start. Do I have to do them one at a time? Oh, no, they're all gone. We're moving! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I would like to move in the right direction. I think this is okay, right? Seems nominal to me. Up, oh, we're in the air. We're in the air, folks. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. This is so steampunk. Hold on, I think I gotta turn down the volume here. I think that's better, but maybe a little bit lower for you guys. Okay. I'd also like to know how to zoom out a bit, but I guess this is okay. We can actually see our waypoint there. 2.24 and counting. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get a better model of this plane somewhere else, that's for sure. So, fair enough. I can't believe we're only going 80 kilometers an hour here. <laughs> I'm sure we can turn off the tags and everything. There are a lot of settings available. I don't know if we can trim this. No, well, 
my hat switch, which would normally be what I use to trim stuff with, is just the view. I don't need that, I can just use the mouse. It's got a lot of momentum when you turn it. I think those are just engine gauges. I don't know if they had any... Did they have no instruments? And there is the attitude gauge right on the front window. Oh, I think that's the altimeter. Pretty interesting that there's this box in front of the vertical stabilizer. I swear it's like flying a sailboat or a galleon or something. I'm a little bit nervous about the whole business of landing it. I'm gonna try and push it to 100 kilometers an hour. Still going up after all. We can probably level off a bit. 100. Okay, it is a long trip. We've got 15 kilometers left on this leg. At full power, I really have to pitch down quite a lot just to keep it from going up. It does have huge wings in though and everything. But yeah, it doesn't want to go significantly past 100 kilometers an hour. Oh, it causes distortion if you zoom out. Eh, we'll skip that. That's a nice cockpit though, very nice cupola sort of thing. I mean, pretty clear view of the ground. This cupola is pretty darn good. It's got little hash marks there. I'm not entirely clear what those are for. I don't know what the RM in the upper right corner signifies. Uh, maybe... No, nope, I don't know. There's something strange up front there. I don't know what it is. Is that a ship? And it has a box on it or something? Looks sort of like it's floating above the water by a shadow. Also sort of looks like a Viking longship in a way. But I think that's just its plume that looks from a distance like a sail. sort of engaging in a dive. Okay, now it's looking more distinct. There's a cargo ship. Now we can see at two kilometers range. Still sort of looks like it's floating above the water. But alright. I don't have any bombs anyway and it's not in red or anything. It looks like the gunner up there has dials too. Maybe the gunner doubles as an engineer. I wonder what kind of tanks he's sitting on there. What are those two tanks right at the top? I don't know. So many questions about this plane. Well, no huge surprises so far. This is going to be a fairly sedate intro to the game.
which is good. I mean, on the bright side, generally biplanes are fairly calm sort of things when nobody's shooting at you. Uh, though I wish we had trim. <laughs> the lack of elevator or aileron trim that does sort of annoy me. I have to constantly control it. It's sort of like a helicopter in that respect. Helicopters you have to constantly control as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to start thinking about how to get down. <laughs> I mean, we seem to be able to descend somewhat, but I think maybe I need to throttle down now. I'm not expecting a runway, obviously it's going to be some sort of airfield. Oh, there's the little dot up there. Okay, now we've got the final waypoint. I also sort of feel like I'm flying a Zeppelin more than anything else. The gondola sort of helps, I mean, the, it looks like a gondola from inside at least. I just noticed it has the... the um, attitude bar is so sticking out in front you see that it's braced and then sticking out in front that is so weird I thought it, from inside I, I thought it was painted onto the or placed onto the windshield but it's actually sticking out in front of the plane incredible you see that bar there that's your artificial horizon sticking out in front there. Well, this is gonna be my first ever attempt to land this sort of thing. I've landed biplanes before, but never a biplane bomber. That I recall. I think it'd be good to have my altitude match my distance number, so let's descend a little bit faster here. It's interesting how much it vibrates at lower throttle, too. I think it's somewhat smoother at higher throttle or that might be maybe it's just I think so so is this the airfield actually must be I hope I don't have to hit that specific spot. Uh, ooh. It's vibrating a lot now. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 I'm just too slow, I'm too slow, I'm too slow. Oh, 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 oh. Mission complete, though. Oh. I don't think they're gonna be happy with me for this. Okay, I think I discovered it's stall speed. I wonder how they're gonna take that. Um, status. That looks like a crash to me. Plane crashed, yeah. Uh, objective completed. It says victory. It says victory, but it does recognize that the plane crashed. Apparently, I'm from France. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Um, it doesn't say pilot killed. That's good. Not even injured, really. 
so yeah that was significant damage i like the damage modeling there that was good but all right proceed um apparently i can go on to aerial photo recon okay so it says as we approach we will need to prepare the photo equipment so right mouse button anywhere and gets that menu and we have to click on the camera icon i didn't know about the auto level mode so that might be useful uh, left shift A apparently, and then activate the bomb site with V. Okay, and then take photo presumably with left mouse button it says. Make sure your altitude remains at 1500 meters while taking the photograph so it will be much higher than we were before. If these conditions are not maintained, the button will be crossed with a red line and you won't be able to proceed with taking photos until you meet the requirements. Well, let's give it a go. I don't know if we're going to be able to survive this, given my previous attempt. Ooh, that's a nice plane. We're starting in flight, apparently, and already at the altitude. Well, I would have rather taken off, but all right. Okay, it looks like we're taking a bunch of photos. Well, let's see how good this auto leveler works. Okay, that's 1500. I'm letting go of the stick. Well, it's holding 1500, all right. Oh, wait, it's going up. it down. Well, I don't know how exact we need to get it. So, they said camera. Gunner command. Oh, over the photographing area and the, I guess that's the camera. Um, it said V, but I don't know what, how to... Oh, this is the V. I wonder if we could... You know, I wanted to zoom in on the map, but apparently not. Well, it's not X'd out, so... It should be okay. Still a little bit of ways. Oh, it sure sways a lot. I think those little things are what we want to take a picture of, maybe? Okay, start photographing. Photo taken. Alright, we go on to the next one, it looks like. It's taking away the camera icon right now. I don't know, are we not taking a picture of this place? I mean... Well, we've passed that waypoint. Okay. Seems like just forest down there anyway. Said as many times as you want. Well, I guess we're done. I'm not sure. Go. Oh, there's the waypoint. We've got a long trip back from the look of it, though. Well, yeah, that's that's gonna be a long ways. I mean, this. Next waypoint is 17 kilometers away, and the one after that is way further away. Couldn't they have, like, made that a little bit closer? Well, now I'll be back with you when we're closer to landing. At least that'll be more exciting. Uh, uh, something has just started happening. I, I don't like the sound of that. 
Uh, is that my engine backfiring or something actually shooting at me? I'm not clear. I, I think it's my gunner shooting something. I'm not sh because it sounds so close. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, there is a bad guy. There's a red, red spot. Plane. Okay, I think my gunner is shooting him, so it's okay. Maybe. My gunner seems to be just sitting there now. Oh, I think that guy's just shooting at me. Okay, yep. Yeah, the gunner's shooting. Gunner's shooting. Keep going. Gunner. I don't know how to use the gunner myself manually. If that's even possible. This guy is the worst fighter pilot ever though. Gosh darn it. Stop playing around with me. I swear, that guy. Well, this way. We've got a list to one side. Um, it doesn't seem like. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's okay. Oh no, I died. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just wounded. Okay, I really need to figure out how to be the gunner. This is unacceptable. Um, I don't seem to be able to trust him. Weapon controls. Personal weapon. Okay. Uh, turret, take or leave control. T. Maybe that's what I want. No, apparently not. Pressing T doesn't do squat. Well, right all one seems to already be in, be in order, so that's good. Yeah, I don't see how I'm supposed to take control. Uh, maybe gunner commands? Oh, fire at will. You definitely fire at will. I guess that's the best I can do. I'm a little bit wounded right now. I'll try to be evasive, I suppose. We've got 53 kilometers left. And this enemy is sure taking his time trying to shoot at us. Is he... Is he gone? I think he's gone. I don't know whether we shot him down or not. But I noticed the... The gunfire had stopped. I don't feel like I'm doing so well myself though. I may take some healing up. I don't know if there's a first aid kit option. Oh, now it's RMH up there. I don't know. Okay, H is some... I, oh, I think that's attitude hold. So what's R and M? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Maybe it's attitude hold. And then if I, I try and turn it, it turns off, I think. Well, I guess we don't have to really hold 1500 meters anymore. So, alright, I'll take the attitude hold. It is amazing that that fighter, I guess he was just out, fresh out of the barn, if you will. Okay, well, I was just sort of, 
allowing the autopilot or auto leveler to do its thing but I just noticed the RPM on engine 3 has gone to zero indeed uh, that engine has stopped I don't know if I overheated it or it was because of damage from the attack uh, I'm gonna back off on the throttle here but I mean our speed is pretty low as it is so oh uh, that seems to have imbalance things um hold on a sec whoa whoa okay back in the cockpit back in the cockpit uh we still got 31 kilometers left to go i mean everything looked green and all on the rpm gauges down there so i didn't think uh it would overheat but it's certainly gone out, so I don't know why. Could be it got shot up, but I can't... I mean, it didn't immediately get busted. Looking at the little gauge next to the RPM, I guess it did overheat. It's sort of orange, so I don't know. I can bring up my cursor like this. That right there. Maybe that's the heating. This wasn't so so high. The other ones aren't so high. Well, I sure hope I actually completed the mission properly. I took a photo. Yeah, it keeps disengaging the auto leveler. Maybe it's because the engine being out produces so much torque one way that it trips it up. I don't know. As if I didn't have enough trouble landing it last time. I wonder if I can manually... No, I can't use this to adjust the throttle, it looks like. Well, there are, like, throttle things over here, I think. I think these are throttle. But it doesn't look like I can, manip I can manipulate them. So, there's also these levers. But same deal. I can't. There's not a clickable cockpit. I want to switch off engine 2, really. Uh, prior to landing, at least. Right now it's fine, but when we land, I don't want to have the huge torque pulling me to the right. Let me see. Engine controls. It looks like uh, just pressing two will do. Oh, that's a is that a button or a, the key? I think it's a key. I sort of wonder. If you can actually start these engines in the air, which you shouldn't be able to, I don't think. Well, first of all, I'm gonna shut down engine 3. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that selects that actually selects which ones I'm controlling. Well, hold on there. So I can control them one at a time and throttle them back individually. So uh, number two, uh, no, I just wanted number two. Let me pull that back. Okay. Oh, that's okay. So that's too low. It took it out of uh, auto, but that's fine. I wanted to send anyway. Let's see. 
That's fine. Oh no, I want I want those up. Those I still want. All right. So we should be better balanced anyway. It's a little bit tiresome to uh, see things through the wounded pilot's view at this point. I'm shocked that in the nice little cupola I got wounded and the gunner was just fine sitting up there. Okay, I think uh, the waypoint in front of us is uh, prior to landing and that uh, black indicator there is the actual landing spot. Judging from last time, we don't have to land at like a pinpoint location, so that's good. We should probably descend first and then sort of level out. Last time I was a bit steep. Okay, probably even though this cockpit is a little bit iffy. trying to pull up I'm trying to pull up please okay wait okay stop uh, I'm sliding a bit I'm sliding a bit I'm sliding a bit I'm sliding a bit I'm wounded this is as good as it gets when I'm wounded I don't even know if I have brakes on this thing um ah oh, man Well, I'm gonna have to do better than that. <laughs> right. I thought I thought I had landed pretty well too, and nope. Got, we did shoot down that one plane though. Plane in air, it says. Pilot injured. Yeah. It didn't say plane crashed. It also doesn't say plane landed. Mission time. Take a look at how long that took me. Honestly. I wonder if there's like a time warp. Okay, so I think I'll wrap it up here for this episode. And next time I'll try and fly something else. I, I don't... Uh, I think we've got a taste of this particular plane. And there are a lot of planes in this game to try out. I'll try out something else interesting. Uh, but we'll always have this campaign available to come back to. It's been a long time since I earnestly tried to complete a campaign. Uh, um, combat, air combat campaign, I mean. Maybe 20 years since I've tried that. There's only 10 missions though, so I mean it's sort of doable, but I would like to see some of the variety in this game. I've got a feel for the Sikorsky S22. Anyway, with that I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.